Beloved intercessor, thank God for his awesome grace. None of us could make it without it. That's why we don't feel proud, we don't feel arrogant about our salvation and about our sanctification, but we rather give glory to God. Today we talk about seeking grace to take care of others, to help our brothers and sisters. In Jude 4, it says, some ungodly people have worn their way into your churches. So, intercessors, be alert, saying that God's marvelous grace allows us to live immoral lives. The condemnation of such people was recorded long ago, for they have denied our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. So basically, the, the writer is denouncing the infiltration of the wrong teaching about grace. In their case, they were saying that that grace would allow people to continue to live immoral lives. And then Hebrews 12, 15, it says, Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Beloved friends, it is time. Intercessor, it is time. If you have not forgiven others, if you still have some resentment, offense, sense of uh, an urge for vengeance, uh, even hatred for your enemies, today is the day to forgive. Let go of those chains of offense and forgive even your enemies and God will bless you and will forgive you. Keep strong, keep growing in the grace, seek the grace to take care of others. God bless you.